Joseph YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Shisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says this is why most women initiate divorce. No more wasting time. Let's get it. I had a whole rant with a drunk friend of mine Saturday night, and I was talking about how I left my ex husband. What a surprise. And all the shit I said, right? To him to make him off. And the thing that's so interesting now is we're always hearing about 70% of women initiate divorces. Mm -hmm. I was definitely part of that 70%. Really? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And my friend was saying, damn, that's f***ed up. That's f***ed up all the things you were saying. He was a guy, of course. And I was just kind of like, f*** him. F*** him. I was telling him I didn't want to be with him no more. He wasn't listening to me. I was telling him this isn't working now. He wasn't listening to me. Mm -hmm. I was telling him, hey, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this, this, that, that. He wasn't listening, listening to, to me. You. Yep. So, at the end of the day, men are not going to divorce women because it doesn't convenience them. Why? Why would they divorce women? Huh. We cook. We clean. Mm -hmm. We're, we're bedmates with them. We take care of their kids. Mm -hmm. Why would they divorce us? Uh. That literally doesn't make sense. Why would they? Because they're so awesome. That's what she's basically saying. Why would any man want to divorce us? Of course, we initiate the divorce. We're s Who's going to divorce us when we do all the work? It makes perfect sense. They yeah. wouldn't. It makes perfect sense. They would not leave us. Mm -hmm. And I had to stoop so low, so low in my character mm -hmm. to get him to finally leave me alone. Uh, she cheated. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. After we separated. And he still didn't want to divorce me. He still didn't want to divorce me. It took like four years for us to like officially divorce after we split up okay so yeah guys don't want to divorce women because it doesn't convenience them they're not trying to go out into the world and play that game of trying to find another idiot to marry them they're not trying to deal with that they're literally afraid of alimony i don't know why but they you really don't know why <laughs> <laughs> women they <laughs> are you guys need to look up why alimony was created uh -huh. look it up and you'll figure out what that was about my point is we need that attitude in 2023 f them mm. f them you're sick of your shit leave you can do that you know that you can leave I don't know if you guys know that but you could just get up and leave. Decenter men. Make your life anything about anything except for men. Please. Por favor. That's my message for today. <laughs> Peace. Have the balls to get it done. Oh, she's back. And move on. You're better without them. All right, guys, so you guys heard the chick for yourself. She says, men, of course, men don't initiate divorce. Why? Because it doesn't convenience them. But it does convenience women, right? They are incentivized to divorce. And so all I'm hearing from this is women are incentivized to divorce and men are not. Of course. All right. But what if neither party was incentivized to divorce? Then would women think that getting a divorce was just such a great thing? I don't know. You tell me. We're going to share out a few of these comments. First comment here says they also don't want to pay child support and alimony, so they will avoid it if they can. Of course, who wants to pay child support and alimony when we know you're using those money to um, get longer eyelashes and nails? Next comment here from another person says marriage benefits men more than women. I think it benefits society as a whole um, the most, right? Society as a whole the most. Because you could argue that if we remove shame from divorce and we remove shame from women being promiscuous, then women now get to choose who they want to be with. But what happens? Well, if you allow women full reign to exercise their own mating strategy without any pressures from society or guidelines or 
expectations, they're going to chase the top percent men. And so in that case, you could say men who are in the middle or lower than average on the socioeconomic hierarchy won't get access to the majority of women. Cool. But what happens? Increased single mother rate, more women prioritizing their education instead of um, getting married because they don't find the average man as attractive. Children being at a disadvantage statistically and which affects society as a whole. Creates more problems than not. Another comment here from another man says, I wouldn't because I don't believe in divorce. I'll try everything in my power to make it work because I still give a shit. Another woman here added and says, my ex thought I'll just stay keeping up with the home and kids for him to come and play house at his convenience. We're so much better without him. That's crazy to say. It's like you, you, you took those kids away from that man is the way you're writing this comment. Now the man here says, best way to divorce them is not to marry them. The creator responded back to that gentleman says, I think, I believe that's supposed to say marriage benefited both of us at the time. So it was worth it. Another comment here says, why do some men get married then? What benefit do they get from marriage that they don't get from a regular relationship? And she responded back to that guy and says, mine did for papers. Oh, okay. So you're an idiot. It's your fault. Next comment from a woman says, I was part of that percentage too. So she's proud. She's like, I'm part of the, the 70%. Yes. With the love emoji, never been happier at peace. He wouldn't divorce me because he needed someone to care for his home and children. But watch this language. Whenever women um, want to get their point across and avoid accountability, they're now your kids, right? When she's now doing better without you, it's like me and my kids are better without him. She goes on to say, didn't child rear, didn't clean, didn't cook, didn't do nothing but leave and come when he wanted and played with kids when he wanted. Now he has a schedule to see his kids. Have to pay me some of his pension. With the love emoji, she's over there happy about this. Child support and have to parent alone. Wow. 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 Yeah, be careful out here, man. Be careful. Listen, as always, curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.